Hello, my name is Mothoni. I am the host of Just Doing Life, the podcast. In today's segment, I am going to be, I guess, reacting. Um, it's not really reacting like we did in the last in the last one. Just giving my take on something, and it's it's a post by Am I the A Hole? And I chose something that is about being child free. I have actually not read the post, and the title for this one: Am I the A Hole for refusing to let my sister and her kids? move into the house that I bought? That is the question. I am a 32-year-old woman and I just bought my first house. It has three bedrooms, a yard, and is just what I need right now. I am single and have two dogs. Yay! My sister is 34 and has three children and lives in a two-bedroom apartment. Lately, she's been talking about how such a tiny living space is not enough for the four of them. When she got to know about the house I had bought, she became very upset (laughs) and told me that I was being quote-unquote wasteful (laughs) as I'm single and don't have kids and therefore don't need such a big space. Oh, haven't we had all this before? (laughs) I reminded her that what I do with my hard-earned money is none of her business. She went on to complain to our mother about how quote-unquote selfish I was being. Yesterday evening, I got a call from my mom telling me I should let my sister and her kids move into the house. My house. (laughs) Hey, okay. Where? I told her that no one was going to live in the house that I paid for but me and that extra and that extra space would be great for my dogs to play in. My mom also got very upset with me and told me I was being unreasonable. That's my sister that my sister's kids are growing and need the space more than my dogs. I offered to help my sister out financially so she could rent a bigger place. My mom got my sister on the phone who shot down the idea, telling me I needed to let her and her kids live in my house. When I refused again, she very generously suggested a compromise, quote unquote, the word compromise is in quotes here. I could live in the house with her and her kids and would not have to find somewhere else to live <laughs> she said this is she said this as if she was doing me a favor i told her she had lost her mind and hung up am i the a hole or is she i know my sister is struggling financially but this kind of entitlement is ridiculous where where <laughs> Mm. Hi, Bo. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, like, those those comments about, like, why do you need a big house? I've had all that. Where someone, like, people will even be like, you live in this entire house by yourself. Yes. Isn't it too much space? No. Like, <laughs> it's enough space for me and my three cats, okay? <laughs> but, like, ah, okay. I feel she's being very generous when she's even offering to help her sister out with the finances, saying, okay, you can move into like a bigger house and I'll help you out, which means her sister is probably paying rent where she is right now because I don't think the sister owns the house they live in because then if she had said, let me move out of my house, because <clears throat> that it just hit me when she says, it's like, I can let you live in your house like you don't have to go find another place to live. Yeah, I wouldn't need to because I already have a house. Why why would I need to go find another place to live? This is my house that I bought. Why would I need to go find another house to live in? That just doesn't make sense. It mm. Okay, I think one, the older sister, the one with the kids is used to being coddled. That's one. That's She's so used to people just, um, I guess, carrying the slack for her that she's so shocked that the sister is like, no. 
Also, when you're saying this is a compromise, how is this a compromise? I bought a house to live in by myself with my dogs. And now you want me to live in not only by myself with my dogs, you want me to live with you and your three children plus my two dogs. No. I don't think I don't think she's the a hole. I don't think I don't think you are because I agree. She's feeling very entitled. She is feeling extremely entitled and the fact that your mom is also like jumping on onto that like first of all your mom needs to mind her business. She needs to be she's she's not supposed to be putting herself in this because are you not her child as well? Do you not deserve a good life? Do you not deserve to enjoy things? Do you not deserve to enjoy your own space? Because also, they're not like utter in the streets or whatever. They're living in another house. I feel like when she suggested the compromise, it's so that she stops paying rent and then now you carry the slack of everything because now she gets to come live with you, with her kids, so she doesn't have to pay rent. Because if in truth it was about just having a bigger space, she'd have taken you up on the offer to financially help her out with the rent. Oh yeah, because she could rent out a bigger place. She could have accepted the offer, but she wants to move into your house because then that means zero rent. Okay, so she's not going to have to pay any rent. And, oof. How is that a compromise? Where like, you move into my house, now I have a lot less space. I have to deal not only with like me and my dogs, now there's you and your kids and I have to accommodate three children. Do you know how hard it is to just live with one other person? What like just living in a house with an entire, like just one, forget even children, one other adult. It's hectic. It is a lot of work. It takes a lot of effort. So for someone to be like, yeah, you have a bigger house, so we should move in. Mm -mm. Definitely, definitely not the a-hole. And also, like, the mom, the mom is giving me bad vibes, honestly. The mom is giving me bad vibes. First of all, um, the older sister is used to being cuddled too. The older sister is definitely mom's favorite child. Maybe it's because she decided to have kids, because I will tell you for sure, when you decide you do not want to have children... You, you you know you're not like a favorite child it's like <laughs> uh it becomes like oh you know especially people who think that that's like what women were built for and then you're like no i'm cool i'm just gonna have my two dogs in my nice house and it's like how dare you so i can tell that like the older sister is definitely like mom's favorite child or at least one of then I don't think the issue here is about the space. Because if it really was about the space, you'd take your sister. She'd take you up on the offer. And then the terms. Like this one. I, how is it wasteful? I'm using the space. How are you telling me that me using my space is wasteful? How is it wasteful? There's... I hate how people want to decide at just because you've decided this and this is what you want for yourself that then you're not allowed to have certain luxuries or you're not it's like there's um a specific um it's like there's a specific way you're supposed to live because of some of the choices you've made right so like I guess because I've decided I do not want to have children, having a two-bedroom house is too much. Having a garden is too much. It's like, what is it for? You don't even have kids who are going to run around in that big compound. I am going to run around. I have cats that can run around. I want to go sleep on the grass, which I did this afternoon. It was really, really nice. But like, there's people who feel that like, since you've decided you don't want to have children, those spaces or certain lifestyles are only allowed to be for people who have children which doesn't make sense because when someone t tells you that you're being wasteful by getting a house that you like how is that wasteful it's it, it would be one thing if she moved into a mansion that had like 15 bedrooms and 13 bathrooms that would be like okay if you're living in a mansion that has like you know that kind of stuff i'd be like well you could consider that wasteful unless like she's planning to turn that into like a bed and breakfast and live in there. You never know. But like 
That I would understand. A three-bedroom house and she has two dogs? That's not being wasteful. How is that being wasteful? How is that being wasteful? I have lived in a three-bedroom house. I don't think it was wasteful. Like, if this was a three-bedroom house, I would still live in it. I, would, I don't think it would be wasteful. So I'm like, who, who gets to decide then? I, are we supposed to all be like, what, cooped up in like a bed sitter? Because it's like, well, it's not like I have kids. I don't need the extra space. Whatever that extra space, whatever I want to do with it, it's up to me. And I like what she said, that like what she does with her hard earned money is her business, which is true. So if she decides that she wants to share what she has, that's one thing. But you can't force her. You can't force her to give you something because you think you're more deserving. Yeah, that's the word. The sister with the kids thinks she's more deserving just because of the fact that she has kids. That's it. Just because it's like, no, I should be the one living in that house. So also, when she says that part, when she says you don't have to find another place to live, like, so before this supposed compromise, she was expecting her sister to move out of her house that she has bought, that she intends to live in, and go pay rent so that she can live in there rent free. Because at no point was she like, or maybe you can rent me your house at a lower rate, you know, or at the rate at which I'm paying where I am right now. That with that goes, I don't know, there are so many things that could have been done in between that would have probably been, that would have shown that she's probably just concerned about the amount of space that she has. But sis, you decided to have three children. This was a choice that you made. So I can't help you. Maybe move in with your mother because she seems to care a lot about the kind of space you, Nini, you guys have. I don't know. Maybe move in with your mother. I just, I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of entitlement there. And then when the mother is like, oh, you're being selfish. Ugh. And yes, and... Let me tell you, if there's one thing that I've been saying yes to, it's that. Especially if it's about being child-free. If someone says, you're being selfish, yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm being selfish with myself. I'm being selfish. I don't want to share myself with someone. I don't, want to, I don't want to sacrifice the life that I want to live. I don't want to sacrifice the, the, the future that I have for myself or the plans that I have for myself for the sake of a child. Yes, I am being selfish and I'm very okay with that. Because I think when people use that word, they think that they're going to shame you into like being like, oh, oh my, that was not my intention. Here you go, take the house. No, I'm being, so is it selfish of me to live in a big house? Then yes, I'm selfish. I'm going to live in this house and stay selfish. So I'm like, when people try to use that word to shame me, for not having children or choosing not to have children, I gladly accept it because you're assuming being selfish is a bad thing. I don't think being selfish is a bad thing. For me, being selfish means I'm putting myself first. That's what you're interpreting as being selfish. Me putting myself first. And if me putting myself first is being interpreted as selfish, I'm very okay with it. I am absolutely okay with that. Let's see what some people had to say. Oh, oh no. it was far. It's got far. That freaked me out. Let me see. Let's see what some people had to say. You are not the a-hole. That's one of the most ridiculous things I've heard. It's your house. That was kind enough of you to offer to help her financially as it is. And I completely agree. I know this is a hard concept for some of you, but childless single women are allowed to buy any size home they like. And have any as many pets as they like. They are allowed to live a lifestyle of their choice. Whether or not you think it's fair. Nobody owes you anything. You know what? Yes. It's true. <laughs> Someone said, I'm trying to figure out how the mom's phone call went. It's like, hey honey, I know you bought that house with your hard earned money. But your sister wants it. <laughs> right? Because that's the thing. I don't understand. I don't understand the mom's idea. Like, like, mom, first of all, why are you involving yourself in this? That's question one. And two, I'm like, you're telling, I'm sure when there were kids, 
she used to force her kids to sacrifice things for the others where it's like oh no 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 i know it's your birthday but nani wants to blow out your candles please let them that kind of vibe the mom is giving me that kind of vibes or where the mom is just like oh no i know you wanted to to go to disneyland for your birthday but your sister wants to go to the zoo so we'll go to the zoo that kind of vibe is the vibe i'm getting from the mom because i don't get it let's see if there's anyone who thinks she's the a hole Okay, so this is the first comment I saw. No, this one is not someone who thinks she's the a-hole. Child free people get this shit all the time. When you buy a house, when you get a large vehicle, when you buy tickets to Disney World or whatever. You don't need that. You have no kids. It's my money and I want it. As for a need, well, maybe I need a van because my boyfriend DJs and has to haul stuff. <laughs> you know what? That's okay. It's okay. Kwanza, I think in this situation, the mom is the biggest a-hole. In this situation, yeah. Oh, I think that was a follow-up. Okay, let's see. I think some of our questions were answered um, in some updates here when she responded to some comments. I think people had some of the questions that I had. Um, so someone asked, did I read that correctly? She offered to let you stay in your house once she moved into it as a compromise, a house that you paid for. And the OP responded and said, yes. Earlier, her intention was for her and her kids to live there and I would live somewhere else. So we were right. We were right there. Hi, Bo. So now I'm just like, okay, I'm with this person. Someone said, wow. We are all pa well. We are well past entitled and closing in on crazy. She actually expected you to basically give her and her kids your house to live in as her own, where you lived somewhere else. Don't let her move in. Don't help her financially, and don't even talk to her anymore. <laughs> you know what? I support <laughs> because I'm like her. Huh. Also, I think the sister is someone who's so used to taking, taking, taking and never giving. That's why she thinks kicking someone out of a house they bought is a compromise. Yeah. Um, and then someone else said, please don't give her money to placate her and, and or any misplaced guilt you're feeling. She was managing before. Her circumstances haven't changed at all. Yours have, and that doesn't aff affect her in any way, aside from her own jealousy. Besides, you may need that money. Everyone says it, but home ownership really is expensive. You are definitely not the a-hole. I, I like that part, because then now it's like, because even when you're offering the money, it's like, oh, it was coming out from a place of guilt, right? Hi, boom. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, um, crazy question. If you moved out of the house you bought and your sister moved in, where would you go? And who would pay for your new place? Second question. If you were um, allowed <laughs> to live in your own home with your sister taking over your entire home, would you and your dogs need to share a room? Oh, yeah, because it's a three bedroom. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'd forgotten that part. <laughs> right? So it's like, it's a three bedroom and she has three kids. So already that's, she's coming in as four people. Then there's you, the fifth person and your two dogs. That's crowded. That's a lot, a lot of people. That's crowded. That's, oh, that's a really good question. Okay, she, uh, well, this person continues to say, please don't give this entitled person any money. Just save it for the children, um, a college fund or their down payment on a home when they grow up. <laughs> the, original, the original poster is hilarious. She said, nonsense, my dogs and I won't get a room. We can sleep in the yard. <laughs> Ah, okay, yeah. I think people need to learn that people who are child-free also want to live nice lives. And that's the reason. We work hard for that. We work hard to live nice lives. We don't work hard so that we can make 
yeah, it's like we might want to help you out and make your life a little easier, but I am my number one priority. If you get helped along the way, good for you, that's just a bonus. But the main priority here is for me to be able to live the kind of life that I want for myself or I envision for myself. So everything I'm doing, trust, I'm doing it with me in mind more than you. I am not, I'm not buying a house thinking, at the, oh, I'm buying this house that my sister and her kids can come live here. No, no. Because also I'm thinking, if I was in a three-bedroom house, um, as Mothoni, of course the main bedroom, the master, is where I sleep. The second bedroom would be a guest room. The third bedroom would be turned into my office. So which rooms are you coming to, Nini? Which rooms are you coming to, to take up? They're all used. They are all being used. I. <laughs> what? Ha. Ah. Where? Yeah. Child free women. Single or not. Like even single. Single women. Child free women. Single child free women also deserve nice lives and that's why they work hard for it so yeah you you don't get entitled to someone else's hard work just because you had a child again that was your choice that also for me sometimes i'm like if i wanted to live in a house full of kids i'd have some do i have any no that should tell you something that should tell you something i don't want to live in a house full of kids i don't yeah, anyway, those are my two cents. Um, yeah, parting shots. We deserve nice things. Being child free doesn't mean that. Until now, I get to live Sidri some rundown life because I chose a uh, uh, good life is not a good soft life is not exclusive to people who choose to have children. No, it's not. We also like and want nice things. Deal with it. Deal with it. <laughs> Thank you for watching this and i guess i hope you've watched the episode that dropped prior to this uh if not go check it out i was talking about um our jobs and mostly that time i worked for a porn company so if you want to see or hear <laughs> what that was about make sure to check out the episode don't forget to subscribe don't forget to leave a comment down below what are your thoughts do you think shows on a hole have you, if you are child free, I know, I know a couple of people who are child free who are, you know, down here. If you are chi child free, would you leave your house to your sister because they have children and you go rent after you've bought a house? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.